Hi all, welcome to my channel and this is the first video on like explaining in depth about like work experiences uh, along with interview experiences of my past companies. So as this is the first video, I am going to share my experience with ADP with, because this is my first company which I was uh, like 4 years back. Uh, after BTEC I got the ADP, I just joined this company. So yeah, in this video I am going to talk more about like, ADP work experience like uh, around one year I have stayed at ADP and like around one year, one month. So I, uh, I will share my experience like uh, how uh, as a graduate uh, because I cannot share experience as a software engineer because um, it's like it's like only one year and uh, like uh, as a as a graduate person that to four years back I don't know much about like uh, how, how software things are really works like as a, how software engineer like what work will be do anything um, so nowadays I think like uh, everything is getting popular like uh, all, all things because of lot of uh, stuff on YouTube uh, so I was uh, share the pros and cons of the company and also uh, at last I will share uh, my interview like how interview uh, went to, like all the rounds and also what they ask and everything like huh. let's come to first about like uh, ADP uh, pros and cons I just mix, mix everything because as I said my first company there uh, I have a lot of mixed reviews are there uh, let's talk about like everything in, in detail like first talk about like pros uh, yeah pros are the, I don't know much about much pros on this company um, yeah it's like good company only I won't say it's bad um, as this is my first company like at that time they have offered quite less uh, but yeah uh, I think uh, like nowadays I think they have restructured the salary uh, so they are offering some good for the type 3 companies around uh, 6 LPA I think uh, previously they have offered like 4 LPA um, the packages is, is like different for different uh, levels of your uh, graduation like if you are from tier 3 right like the, it's like uh, the, like in 2018 I'm talking about it's like 4 lakhs 4 to 4.5 if you are from NITs, it's like 5.5 to 6 uh, around between like if you are from IITs, the package is like 10 to 10 to 11 lakhs. The ultimately the work is same uh, but yeah packages is different like that is the reason like uh, there is some kind of uh, discrimination I would say it is there. Yeah but I cannot comment much on things right because it's my first company I don't know much about uh, how, tech how tech industry really works like so I just joined the company. Um, so there is a one pro which I was talking about is like uh, the what we call like the inter the uh, training. So after joining ADP, they have given around uh, 30 days training, which is very well, uh, which is which went very well, uh, very good. Like because in that uh, interview only, I have learned a lot of good stuff like re related to Angular. Uh, so they and also re related to Java, like uh, building uh, small small APIs. Uh, after 30 days, uh, it was everything was quite good um, because uh, um, it was slowly, slowly coming from BTEC to the uh, like software engineering uh, thing, right? So I don't have much much comments on like what is good, what is bad, all these things. So uh, whatever uh, the trainer was uh, saying, we are, we are just we are just preparing, we are just uh, understanding things, uh, everything. So after completion of like one one month of training, right? They have. Uh, one drawback is like they have randomly allocated like uh, all the like t people like so for example let's say some got like manual testing it's which, which is very bad like because I know I have like lot of experience on like software industry now I, I know what is manual testing like so start your career with testing right at some point you cannot grow it will be stagnated like uh, so don't uh, my my humble advice my humble advice is don't start with career as a test tester like start as a developer only as uh, as much as you can try like if you're not started as developer that try to move the company this, that is the one thing which i have suggested like huh it's completely up to you like uh, the, yeah the thing is like uh, because of um, random assignment some got development work they are very happy and some got into uh, like I, I have like around 10 to 15 friends which are joined along with me right so i have, I have good understanding of like uh, people uh, what projects they got like and also what roles they have got some people are specifically like uh, went into like uh, uh, development and some people are went into like uh, test manual testing and some people like me like I just got automation tester like and some people are 
uh, gone into uh, like tool specific uh, roles like, like like SAP, all these things. So because of this one, uh, it's like we are, we don't have any control of like what we are what we are basically choosing. Like that is the one drawback. Uh, because I know like everyone wants to be developer, but uh, yeah, they hire in a, in a general way, right? So maybe that's why they have given they have allocated like that. That too, they, for and for actually for especially for those who are my IDs, right? They have given development work only. Yeah, yeah. There are some discriminations are there in ADP, but yeah. Ultimately, anyway, I got into automation testing. Initially, after one month, right? The next two months, there is no much work into the understanding of things, stuff, all those things, all the automation tools I was getting. getting. And even the worst thing what happened is like I, I just got into the automation testing. That too, the mainframes. I need to automate the mainframes, which is like. It, it is like 1970s or 80s, like which is around. <laughs> I was born in 1997, but the mainframe technology is outdated in 1990, uh, 1980s. Like they have given it to that kind of uh, tool and asked me to automate it. There is no resources. I don't even know what to do. Like yeah, I was like I was like very good in Java. Like I was, uh, my B.Tech was just mostly keen on data science, all these things. So there I decided like oh God, what is this tech industry? Like uh, maybe it's not good for me. Like uh, uh, this, do, I feel like there is no relevance of what I was currently working on like uh, so I just took very bold decisions like uh, I would say that is bad I don't know I took decisions which is not even considering much because of uh, this uh, culture or something I was unable to fit like so I have prepared I was trying for I was trying for civils yeah uh, I think uh, it's a, it's a thing, it's a six, six months of time is there uh, for civil exam. Um, there I was prepared, I started preparing like because in office there is no much work like. The first two months I just go on till 7 o'clock from morning 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock. From later on I just quick slowly 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 reducing my working cost because of there is no much work right. And I just completely learned this mainframe in, in, in one week so after that one whatever automation they are giving us I was able to complete that like uh, in like 2 or 3 days even though the sprint, uh, uh, the, sp the sprint Basically, the sprint uh, time duration is basically like let's say two weeks or three weeks. I was able to complete the stuff in like th uh, three or four days itself because of like uh, less work or because of the mainframes is like already pre built in other other com other people like other other teams. So I have just understand what okay how they did. I just doing same thing like so I just spend most of the time with library in office like because they, in early morning six itself they used to get like newspapers all these things. Uh, uh, I was like, I was like completely into off offsite, like I was not into like uh, tech, tech, tech wise, like because of because of my tech stack, which I didn't like. That is the main reason, I think. So then, then I go, then yeah, uh, we are friends, right? Like who joined along with me? So we have like uh, lunch every day, right? So we should discuss like, okay, what is like which project you are tackling on, like what is the challenges and what is the role and responsibilities? And some people, uh, some projects, like they work, they are working on like. Uh, Developer, he's a, he's a that's uh, like few of my friends got development work into Java, Java, I think Java Spring, but the Spring is like very old text tag, like Spring XML configurations, I think, because the ADP itself is a very cold company, it started around 1950, so we cannot expect everything, everything was new, that is the, like one disadvantage. Uh, and for him, the working hours is like beyond eight hours, like for a fresher, they're expecting beyond eight hours, like uh, it's like they he used to start at 10 and he used to left at, at 9. 9 o'clock uh, at some at some point of time but i was like i used to come at like after like after three four months of joining the company right? i used to come at like at, at let's say 11 o'clock and used to leave it like three four yeah hardly huh um uh, yeah manager was quite good he won't say anything to me like because work is getting completed so he said like yeah chill chill no, no issues like so that kind of guy so i was also happy like i was getting enough time to prepare like uh, for civils um I don't know like civil is that much stuff like I thought it's very easy like <laughs> I just didn't follow I just blindly preparing like all the, I'm started reading newspapers like yeah uh, I just I just understand like after four months I understand like okay civil is not a cup of tea it will take around two to three years of dedicated dedication dedication of preparation like uh, but yeah but yeah anyway like uh, I was I, like this video is mostly on talking about like us uh, like how the work at ADP right. See my work is like completely uh, very chill. Uh, it's a like testing right because of there is no much work is there. Initial first first one first one month is training. 
after one month is done, the next three months, the first, second month is worked on like manual testing, like uh, uh, just basically some KT, taking KTs and giving uh, and giving reverse KTs. That is that is particular that one is done. And uh, the other two, basically, uh, other three months, I think, other three months I worked on like uh, mainframes, as I already said. Uh, the three, not three months, uh, like four months, I think, I worked on like mainframes. After that one, I got into Selenium, uh, Selenium automation, uh, some Cucumber Selenium frameworks of automating like whatever uh, JSP pages or whatever but developers are designing that. For them, we need to write some test shoots. I was worked on like around three months after that. I, I, I just put the papers like. So there is a reason. Like because of my text, so the main reason which I put paper is that because my civil uh, first attempt, which obviously didn't went well, I got around 70 I think in prelims, so around six months of work. I th uh, I people are used to say like people are congratulate me because you are able to get good uh, good marks in less than a, in, in very short span of time. If you are dedicated enough, like uh, you can crack uh, easily. Like, but somehow I was like not able to. Uh, sustain the pressure because I was like very at less package like uh, like the 4 lakh per annum at that time uh, it's not very high right like so um, and I need to move like so work is also very stagnated like uh, if I if I stay one more one more year right I was like done I was like completely into the some some kind of dumb state like so then I decided okay it's time to move then I was applying for a company I got DBS uh, I explained every detail in, in in next video about DBS so let's not go into detail so uh, yeah my suggestion is like uh, if you didn't like the project uh, if you didn't like the role which you are given just straight away talk to the talk to the manager if not if let's try to uh, see like one or two months uh, if things are gone into if, if things well it's okay if things are not very good then just quit the company I think um, that is the one which I can uh, say to you um, uh, and also uh, like when it comes to uh, so like when it comes to facilities right like uh, it has like uh, cafeteria like food is not free uh, so we cannot expect free food there the latter companies which I joined, they are offering free food. Uh, so here the food is like, but food is, even though food is not free, they are offer they are, they will charge very less. I think in fifty rupees you'll get like complete meals uh, with with lot lot more good uh, with complete plate. I would say like so that is the one. I I would I I won't say that is super benefit. That is one kind of facility which is providing by uh, like ADP. And I think ADP is mostly famous for like uh, um, payroll generation, right? That uh, project itself is a payroll. Like in most of the companies, you, if you are, if you know, like payrolls is getting generated from ADP portal itself. Like, so I think ADP is the most known company uh, recently. Uh, like because what happened is like also a lot of people started getting leaving the company. Like when in 2018 itself, like then they understand okay, people are leaving. Uh, I think. They are, it's, it's time to restructure the uh, 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 like basically package. So I think after I left around after uh, after I left right after after half year after 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 leaving half year, I think some of my friends are going to know that they are restructured the package. Like now my friends after four years right now, now my friends are in good position. Like I won't I won't say that is super high, but they are at like around like 15, 16 I think uh, in ADP. That's good for them. Um, so what is like uh, is any other? Yeah, and also yeah, one more thing is like uh, my friends they are working they are working on development things right like for them the project is good like I won't say bad like he's he's actually working and learning stuff like so it's completely depends on team and also completely depends on what your role is like um, the the uh, the the team which I was worked on is like completely on into. Uh, legacy systems like legacy the terms is like a uh, uh, like the system is already there from long from 20 years from 10 years which is not even much development happening it's completely consistent way of supporting things so like uh, so this is my bad I got that particular project uh, uh, other people like let's say some of friends some of our friends they got like into a uh, SAP development like some tool based work like so they so they they are learning the SAP all these things but they don't know they don't, they didn't learn Java all these things. It's up 
it's it's completely up to you whether you want to go into into this into this direction or you want to go into this developer direction because ultimately developer has a lot of scope in the industry you know, and also most of the tech companies will offer very high packages so yeah um it's completely uh, up to you what you want to decide like uh, uh, i would say training is very good and facilities are quite okay I, uh, and yeah anyway the company has has also has like quarterly like some some kind of what you call like quarterly uh, fund where we can spend uh, outing or we can spend for like like dinner lunch or anything like where company will reimburse those things and for first time if you are going for if you are going if you are a graduate right like uh, like if you are going to join the company they will offer like accommodation for two weeks and uh, and they will reimburse all the flight charges everything like yeah and they have like medical insurance is there uh, which is like uh, um, the thing is like they offer medical insurance but we need to pay some amount like for that that is like bare minimum thing around like 5 to 6k per per year like uh, like basically a lot of companies will offer free but this all this company is basically asking ask, asking us to pay like so because of this first company i have a lot of mixed reviews and uh, mixed mixed opinions and uh, um i just leave very soon in one year only like um, after after i was after after i came to know after the prelims exam right i just came to know, i just came and i just checked the uh, key uh, i just didn't even put the more than 70 questions right there. i just put only 70 questions how can i expect i was, I was in i was in prelims right so uh, when i got i got around 70 so um after that one because of depression right i just understand like okay it's not a good time to give prelims for me i think uh, maybe i should know more about like tech technological perspective like uh, uh, like giving some sense to whatever what i read the past four years right in btech like that's like or like uh, so i just uh, uh, prepared like anyway whatever b technology has still it's in my it's in my brain so with that brain i, I just given like dbs i just uh, like really got selected so uh, around DBA, uh, for DBS, I just uh, I will talk very detailed and in depth. Uh, for ADP, I don't have much things to say. Also, they don't offer any perks kind of thing, and code and I have lot of mixed reviews, so I cannot comment much on uh, ADP. Okay, let's talk about the interview experience. At least I can share the interview experience so that you get some idea. Like if you are applying for ADP, um, okay, the first ex the first because the first thing is like basically online round uh, uh, which is like a aptitude round and um, just like i think first one is purely aptitude because i have i have given exam in four days back right so uh, it's like first year is first round is a like purely into aptitude is like some content uh, what do you call like some content verbal uh, so difficult is like easy like i i i also able to crack means anyone can crack because i was very poor in like uh, english verbal like so I was good in math and quant, but very poor in like verbal. Like, if I am able to crack, I think anyone can able to crack. I think so. It's not a big deal. So that's the first round. I think yeah, second round is based on the coding. Like, yeah, it's like not writing the code. It's like a uh, uh, MCQ some code. Like, so you have to. I think you have to answer like few questions on like DBMS, few questions on like network networking, and few questions on like Java, like data structures, all these things. That is like second round. I just gone through the second round. After second round, the third round is basically, uh, yeah, writing the code in paper. Like the interview stuff is very good. Like yeah, uh, but package is not good, not great. Third round is like basically like uh, writing the code through paper. They have given around uh, three questions, uh, like around one hour of time. Uh, so I think by the by, see for the first round they have given attempted more than six hundred people. I think. So for the second round, they have come only, they have, they have around 120 people got shortlisted after, yeah, to the second round for the second round after completion of second round, there is only, I think 40 people, I think got 40 or 50 people, I think got shortlisted for, for third round, which is a writing code on paper, right? After we have come, after I have written, like basically one thing they have asked is like palindrome, uh, palindrome, it's not palindrome, it's like, uh, uh identify the palindrome in a string like that is the that is the question i have got i think uh, there are some other few questions just like uh, difficult is like easy easy I, I would say two questions and one is like bit medium uh, if you are good in data structures you will crack like just like that yeah 
uh, there I was not good in data sessions, but I, I, even, I, even though I was, I was able to crack like. So that's the uh, thing. After completion of that one, the first one is, first day is done. So second day is like basically they call the people who are shortlisted. So I, I, I think around 25 people got shortlisted. I think that day 20, 20, yeah, around 25 people got shortlisted uh, for the code for the interviews. Like these all these three are like basically uh, uh, written, written and uh, written right. This is for technical interview. So the fourth one is basically like a technical interview, which is not, don't expect, uh, yeah, this also completely depends on like a panelist, like few persons got like coding questions, uh, let's say binary search tree, uh, like um, med sort, all these things, uh, like variations, not that thing. It's like variations of those things like, and few persons got like, uh, got, got more into uh, like current the projects which they build on in, in, in third year and fourth year, like, and four one and in and in three three two like uh in four two actually the interviews have happened like so um, for me they asked me like some two basic programming questions like uh, like a uh, reverse of a string uh and also i just still remember all those things yeah uh, uh i think they have asked me uh, some some question on like uh, java javascript yeah uh, I just in my BTEC in my 3 do uh, have have implemented like um, some misstudent projects so they might as the interviewer might assume that I know that JavaScript so they have asked me like like some JavaScript basic ter uh, syntax questions so I have answered later they have asked me some some kind of uh, um, like some kind of what you call like uh, what we say like some kind of questions like logical questions like so imagine like 13 and uh, like like f like some weights are there you need to balance those weights with a, with a very less minimum way how you will do like or ants are rotating some 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 kind of logical questions and at last they have asked some kind of questions on a uh, computer like computer network related to, related to the layers right we have network layer application layer i think says there are seven layers are there right i think others is transport layer all these things i just, I just forgot like basically they have asked me all these things I think this, this went around, I think, uh, one hour. Uh, after completion of this fourth round, I think from among 30 people, I think 20 got, short, 20 got shortlisted. Yeah, 20, yeah, 20 got shortlisted. Uh, there is a, the last round is basically another another kind of uh, technical. It's not into, more into technical, it's more into managerial round. It's like basically asking like, um, uh, what is the project which you have worked on in, in, uh, in, AD, in, in your BTEC? uh how you take the ownership of that one just explain all those things and they ask her and they ask her like uh related to the project only and they are and uh and extra extra curricular things there's not easy anyone can easily crack like this one like but here also some 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 are like not not able to crack it's like more into how we how we interactive you are like that's the main important like with it for, for the for the panelists like so after completion of this rounds i think around uh 20 20 around 15 people I think got selected uh, 15 people uh, yeah it's like double digit number only but less than 20 yeah so yeah everyone got selected after the, after this round but after this one there is one more round called HR round this is like just typical HR rounds like why ADP uh, what are your expectations uh, like like did you know anything about ADP have you researched it or not like uh, all all these things they have like they have said like so it's it's a kind of good interaction like uh then 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 they ask if you have any offers are there i said i already have an offer with infosys so i said like i have already with infosys and there's one startup in hyderabad uh so then they then they ask like okay why you why you want to why you want to join adp then i said it's like adp is a comparatively better one to infosys it's like somewhat like more into product oriented uh all those things like typical all pre-formulated uh, questions yeah <laughs> so i have answered all those things so then they have formally rolled out the offer like the same day itself in the night yeah this is like almost five rounds are there everything went well there are from 600 people uh, only 15 i think got selected so luckily i, I was in that particular list yeah the, that's pretty much about interview experience with ADP. Like after joining, I got a lot of mixed response, mixed mixed uh, views on myself about my work at ADP. For other people, it's like quite good because other people stayed till three years. I just quit at one year. 
some people have quit it even two months also. Like they, for them, it's like very bad. Yeah, it depends on project. Like as it's like built on ninety, as it's like started nineteen fifty around nineteen fifty eight, uh, right? So you might expect like lot of legacy code. You might expect like lot of teams horizontally there. You might expect like uh, some teams are very good and some teams are very bad and. Yeah, it completely depends on you. Like, uh, what you really want. Like, if you want to start your career with a developer, or if you start your career with a, some tool based guy, if you start your career with like uh, uh, some kind of automation tester, like because because uh, that is very important. Like nowadays, I think it, do, it doesn't matter. I think, but if you, uh, till two to three years of experience, you can be in any way. Ultimately, that days all go. That sheets are matter more. I think nowadays, like. But when we studied, like we don't have much sheet, much DSA experience, all these things, right? Like we are like uh, these because of COVID, I think a lot of uh, YouTubers go getting uh, teaching on online and a lot of uh, digital learning is happening. But in 2019, there is no COVID, and and that is the starting phase of slowly, slowly developing of like let's say Geo is offering free one GB of per day. Everything was starting right, so we don't have much knowledge on the. That that time that that time, so anyway, luckily I got the I got like I got like job. I was not uh, I was not my my friend, my parents are happy. That's the ultimate goal. I was fine, like yeah. So I think that's it for today's video. Like uh, I'll share very in depth about DBS and further companies like RCCM everything like uh, in depth so that you can understand like uh, variations of this company with that company and how. How experience also matters a lot uh, for deciding for seniors, for senior roles, all these things. So stay tuned for my next video. Like, please subscribe and please like and share to your friends so that if they joining ADP, they, uh, it might help for them to decide to join or not. Like, yeah, we'll meet soon in the next video. Till then.